Hello, my name's Ben, and we're back for another bucket tutorial. Now, this one's about when you click somewhere and it's going to explode, and if you use another item in your hand, then it's going to lightning and and stuff like that. So, if you click somewhere, it does a certain thing. So, instead of um, anything else we've done here, we're going to make it a player interactive event. Now, what a player interactive event is when a player interacts or left or right clicks with a block of air or something in front of them. So we're just going to get the player, so we do player player equals event, so we, in the event we're going to get the player that's clicked somewhere. Now we're going to make a new integer, an integer is a whole number which contains no decimals, so we're going to call this block ID. The block ID equals the player, and we're going to get the item in the hand, and then we're going to get the uh, the type of item in the hand, and then we're going to get the ID of that item. So every uh, item or block in Minecraft has a specific ID to it. So if I go here and I type in uh, Minecraft block IDs, it's going to take me to the Wiki wiki page, which has the data values on it. Now, if I look at the data values, every single block has a different ID. This is helpful for coding and you have to reference things whilst making mods and it's also helpful for when you are making bucket plugins. So now we've got the integer of the item in hand of the block ID. So if the block ID if the block ID of the item in hand is equal to the block ID of a stick which is 280, then what we're going to do is we're going to get the block that the player was looking at. So block block equals player dot get target block. And here we put null, so we're not counting the air blocks that are in front of them. And then this number is the amount of blocks away. So we're going to have 50. So it's going to have a radius or a span or a, a site of 50 blocks. Now we're going to get the location. So we do location, location equals block so we're getting the block that the player's looking at and we're going to get the location of that block now we've got to get the world that the player is in so we're going to do world world and that's going to equal the player dot get world so we're getting the player's world so after that we're going to get the world so the world the player's in and we're going to create an explosion now this explosion the first uh, thing inside the parameter is the location that it's going to be so obviously our location is called location and the second one is a float and a float uh, the float for this instance is going to be how large the explosion is or how big the radius so we're just going to make the radius and the explosion five so it's going to five large explosion now if we make another else if the block id is equal to that of a bone and that is three five two then we're going to get the block actually we can just copy these three lines here because we are lazy. So we're getting those three things and then we're going to go do world dot strike lightning. Strike lightning and we're going to do it at location. Oh. And we're going to do it at the location. Location. Just like that. That's all there is to it. Now, there's nothing extra to go in the plugin dot YML as it is um, item and stuff based plugin. So if we just export that, open up Minecraft, open up my server, okay, and that's a really messed up screen, but that's what Jeb's like, isn't it, after he's become all like head developer and stuff. Um... 11th of February 2012 it's half term school broke up yesterday so that's all good okay this is laggy I'll be right back I'm gonna change worlds because earlier on I was having a little experiment on this map to do with TNT alright so while the server's loading up I just wanna uh, tell you to please come donate at www.thebcbros.com and if you enjoy these, then you can go and donate there. Um, also, please give us ideas for future tutorials. Um, give us ideas for future videos in general. So, okay, I've got a stick and I've got a bone. So if I click with the stick, it's going to create an explosion where we are clicking. Just like that.
down here and you've made the explosion radius bigger and all that good stuff so now with the bone we can click and it's going to create a lightning effect you can also make an explosion where it hits and all of that amazing nice lovely jubbly stuff you can create messages telling players that I've created an explosion uh, so you could do just as a quick thing for you to that you might be wanting to know to broadcast a message you do bucket dot broadcast message and it broadcasts the message that's in here just like that so every time I strike lightning it's going to broadcast a message to all of the players on the server that just like that and that's going to be in the console as well because it's been broadcasted so thanks for watching please come rate subscribe donate all of that good stuff uh, I hope you're enjoying these tutorials um, suggest more suggest ideas thanks for watching goodbye <laughs>